Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that that golf cart you just saw that went by as they're passing are actually doing it legally. A lot of people don't know at Shell Point, but this is where the Lee County owns the road from our guardhouse on out to Shell Point uh, to uh, McGregor. So that's their road, and they have posted signs here, Florida statute signs that say this is the only part of the Shell Point Boulevard that you can drive on it. That's why it has a green OK sign. When you get out past Palm Acres, it is, you are no longer allowed to drive on the road for any reason in a golf cart or a non-licensed vehicle. So next we'll move on over and see where you cannot ride uh, the sign that uh, says you're not allowed to do it. Hi, you're now at the end of uh, Palm Acres and this is where the designated cart path that is actually on the state road in County Road, it will come to an end. The cart path ends here uh, as far as driving on the road and it, now it has its own designated cart path all the way to the end of Shell Point Boulevard. It's now on a cart path. So you can see this sign says, okay, beyond this point, golf carts are allowed, but they must stay on the path. You will notice a sign just ahead that says golf carts with a red sign with a dash through it saying prohibited beyond this point so you can no longer have a golf cart or bicycle or anything else on the main road. It's just too dangerous. That's why they have a cart path here for you to use. Okay, one final reminder is it is very important that uh, golf carts, utility vehicles, and bicycles travel on, from this point on, stay on the cart path and not on the main road and just travel with traffic. If pedestrians, on the other hand, should walk facing traffic and they would be allowed to walk on this side. Where returning back to Shell Point Island, you would need or your golf cart or your bicycle and other things, utility carts on the other side. So let's try to obey that for our own safety. Just stay off the main Shell Point Boulevard from this point all the way to the end of Shell Point Boulevard. Okay, now we're at the end of, just about at the end of Shell Point Boulevard and we are at the crosswalk, legal crosswalk that you can cross over to the Springs. But you'll note at this point, no golf carts are prohibit, allowed past this point. They're prohibited past this crosswalk. And they will cite you because they do not want golf carts going down to the public store and doing their grocery shopping. They have stopped it here and they mean the golf carts need to stop here bicycles, wheelchairs, pedestrians, all welcome to go on by, but not a golf cart or a utility vehicle that's not a licensed vehicle. Okay, now we're gonna talk about opposing traffic. Remember, we from the woodlands all the way to this prohibited golf cart sign, we have two-way traffic on this one cart path. And if you notice, this cart path isn't quite wide enough for two golf carts. So we want to make sure that the cart that's going southbound, the going this way, can stay on the cart path because as you can see, if not, they're gonna, if they try to pull off, they're gonna run into the trees. So anyone coming northbound, going this direction, will need to pull off because they have plenty of grass to do so and allow that other golf cart to pass. The other thing is we want to yield to all pedestrians, get off the path, to this side whenever a pedestrian is coming or a bicycle's coming or something like that. We would never want a bicycle to have to go off in the grass because they have a great, much greater chance of losing their control of their bike and then where you and a golf cart are much safer. So remember that, yield to pedestrians and bicycles at all times. When going southbound, stay on the path. When going northbound, get off the path and allow that other golf cart to pass. Okay, we're at the Woodlands entrance and this is a very dangerous intersection and uh, we've even had one person killed at this intersection. So it is so critical that I communicate to you how you manage this, this crossing and everything about it. Uh, a reminder again, beyond this point is two-way traffic. So you want to make your move off the cart a couple of telephone poles apart so that the person coming 
that can't, that's going southbound can know you're going to get off because otherwise it gets, can get confusing if someone you approach doesn't know these rules. Okay, back to the crossing here. As you can see, we have a crossing and it applies a sign up the road. We'll talk about it's for golf carts, pedestrians, and, uh, and bicycles. So the, all three are on there. You need to know that in the state law, if you're operating a motor vehicle on Shell Point Boulevard, you are gonna be held responsible if you don't yield to the traffic in a crosswalk for all three of those things. So, but drivers don't know that. So I would use extreme caution when you're crossing here and pay extra attention because we had one resident who didn't and lost his life and we don't want that to ever happen again. Okay, when you need to cross, this is where you can no longer go in a two-way lane. You must cross over at this point for safety. There's too much traffic coming up to the woodlands to do anything otherwise. So, you need to cross here. When you're coming uh, northbound, you need to come to this or you're coming, you want to go in, just make your turn, but just pull up there, safely cross, but do not cross over to that, the east side cost, uh, cart path. Do not cross over in front of traffic here. It's way too dangerous. We want you to continue off the sidewalk, on the main road, around the stop bar, and make a U-turn right about where the entrance to the upper level of Lakewood Court is. Make that U-turn, come with the flow of traffic, and move into your, uh, your uh, east side lane of traffic all the way back to Sh uh, Palm uh, Acres. So that is what we need you to do when crossing here. Okay, we've reached the, near the end of our presentation, and I just wanted to point out, from the woodlands back to Palm Acres, we have cart paths designated for northbound and southbound. So you don't have to do the uh, two-way traffic like you did uh, south of here. So when, you, you, when you're returning from this point back, you must be on the cart path. And that goes for bicycles, uh, wheelchairs, golf carts, utility vehicles. We all need to cross over or come this way and head back uh, northbound to the, to the island on this new path we've created for you. Went to a, a lot of expense to make it, let's use it. Okay, and the final thing I wanted to say uh, is please don't let us see you operating your golf cart utility vehicle with a uh, MP3 player going and talk texting while you're driving or talking on your cell phone. That is not allowed. The only thing you're allowed to do is employees are allowed to use a walkie-talkie to take the urgent communications they might get about their job. That's a short, quick communication. It's not like chatting away on the cell phone. So let's try to obey that final rule and pay full attention to what we're doing out there and we'll all be a lot safer for you, for us here as we uh, live and work here at Shell Point. Thank you and have a great day.